formal education will make you a living self education will make your fortune with this insightful note vanakkam vandanam and a very good evening everyone and welcome to today's interactive live webinar session on the topic how to start my self learning journey so we have four of our most talented seniors here on the panel to share their experiences of their self learning journey hackathon preparations and placement preparations i am sure we going to take away much from this session so don't miss it out friends stay connected and we are so eagerly waiting to hear from you all seniors so with no more delay let's get into the session i am deepa shree freshman csc moderator of today's session and also i have my friend sanjay joseph from csc on board as a co moderator so let's get to know about our seniors more firstly we have one of our notable alumni muttu kumar v of batch 2012 to 2016 he is currently working at oracle as so senior software developer He has also worked as the senior software engineer in PayPal for almost one and a half years. We could recognize him as a strong engineering professional with a ME focused in computer science from Chennai Institute of Technology. And we have a notable alumni, Rahul Raj K of Batch 20, 2017 to 2021, who is currently working in the persistent system. He is skilled in many programming languages and also a winner of Smart India Hackathon 2020 by leading his team as a leader. He is also awarded as a best innovator award for successfully completing a sustainable solution for the real time problem by Accenture and he is also a finalist of Tech Geek Code Gladiator finalist of Rajasthan Hackathon and IBM Hack Challenge and next we have our senior Amrit K who is currently pursuing fourth year in CSE he is known to be the android web and cross platform app developer he is the winner of Smart India Hackathon 2020 and also he has received the industrial innovator award from asanjer in the year 2019 he has also done his internship as mobile application developer in lernity in short we could recognize him as a multi skilled engineer at last we have our last senior last year senior vignesh s of csc department who is a founder of 101 deploys and he also acquires numerous number of skills in many software and programming languages which led him to win the smart india hackathon 2020 and is also a finalist of tamil nadu student innovator of 2020 tech geek gladiator 2019 and many competitions so uh, muthu kumar anna please take over the stage and share your experience we are eager to hear from you before that every one of us have so much of questions roaring through our minds so it's time to put up our questions go ahead guys shoot your questions in chat box on behalf of all of us we are here to represent hi everybody So this is Muthu Kumar here, and hope everyone. I think she has given a nice intro about me. Thank you for so much for that. And since it's been 5.5 years, I was entered into the IT. So I have started my career in financial software solution, which is a financial, you know, like a company where I started my career. And my profile was into a full stack developer. The domain which I chose was uh, banking and the financial domain. And I'll tell about why I was so, you know, like very conscious about while choosing the, you know, domain because. so many domains are there in it industry but there is a reason why i chose this and before that uh, yes as she said that i was a 2012 to 2016 alumni and like the session is itself was a self learning right so since i started my career in cit in 2012 uh, actually i was so blank about how the life would be and how the career would be and how the academic would be and how the placement would be i think i could easily relate that that is the phase where the college has also you know like started their career towards the placement session in 2015 if i'm not wrong because that is the because we don't have any classes or any sessions to hand over for any self learning process all the self learning has been you know pointed out on a one shoulder that we have taken in a different way and we have gone through all the like struggles which we face especially because whatever we are doing in an academic thing you know that will help you to you know actually help to crack out the interview when you go for the mnc because if you don't have the practical or if you don't have the you know the problematic skill it doesn't you know like go in a long run actually that is what the you know ultimate truth when you come to it because whatever you are doing in an academic right that will help you to crack the interview as far as i understood because you have to you know like uh, spend your time after your academic timing actually for example my classes would end up to 2 or 230 so i used to spend some 3 to 3 to 6 almost for 3 hours 
especially working on PCCI certification, because I can probably say that I'm one among the PCCI certified developer and also I'm a Pega developer and also I'm a full stack developer. I do have a certification on open banking, encryption and decryption, and then uh, card encryption and decryption of uh, how the data would be transferring. And because since if since everything is digital, right now right since everything is digital and payment is the top notch of all the domain stick so that is the reason from the initial itself i cho i chose a banking domain but when it comes to you know in college life right so as like everybody said nobody has any idea like how the career would be and what is the path that we have to choose and how the career will look like if we because there is always a do and don'ts in every choices that we took right so i was very conscious that I have to be in a like like everybody like everybody do like like we have to be in a proper place where we have because since that is a phase that we have to you know start our career and at, and one more thing there is a dilemma would be there because since i had almost 17 to 14 17 14 to 17 offers in my hand when i you know get out of my college life because because i have been placed in so many companies and package was not even you know like the one which is getting because i used to get around seven to eight lakhs of the ctc which is a you know like seniors which was getting at that time because i have been placed for 17 to 18 lakhs at the time itself because i was very you know conscious about the uh, work-life balance because as that is the reason i'm saying again and again self-learning is all about the discipline and 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 you like so many companies have been starting the you know like internships and all so you have to stick with one company profile if you are looking for example if you have interest in mobile means you have to start pursue about the mobile app development since you started your college life itself because spend at least one hour or two hours because i knew this is the phase where we can enjoy our life and this is also the phase where we can able to you know pursue our dream and choose our career because i think academic will help you around 20 to 30 percentage for you to get out of the campus just a, it's like a golden ticket to enter into the you know like interview or any sort of thing but the skill will help you out you know that is the mandatory that you have to work uh like coming to the point like self learning is the most important thing as i told earlier um, you have to spend because since as it because i can relate myself with self-learning because i knew only core java because since you people are uh, you know freshers right so you can able to even correlate with that since I knew only Code Java and J J2W, and that's it. That's it. Because apart from that, I was thinking because I used to go for LinkedIn and I used to check for any senior software developer profession is there because I was very conscious that I have to be in an uh, organization where if, if I if I say that organization to somebody, they should recognize it properly. But that is, I was very conscious about it and domain which I choose because in IT, we have so many domains in there and so many tech stack would be there. And if you choose the domain properly and if you choose the skills properly, the pay will be, will be get automatically, you know, falls into your places. You know, the moment which I, when I started learning PSSID certification, right, I had no clue about what I'm going through because, because nobody was there in my you know, no, I, do, I don't have any mentor, actually. I do have a mentor, Tachur, his name is Prakash Ganesh. He's a trainer in, he's a trainer in our period, actually, 2013 to 2016, he was been there. He's a technical person. He's an, also an IT specialist. He has uh, quit their job and he came back to college to make sure that all the tech stack which he has learned that has to be in the place where the people has to get learned. So he came back and he was been there for almost uh, three years, if I'm not wrong. So he was there and uh, he thought everything as he could maximum because he know the industrial standard and he know the industrial value how the you know recruitment will be happening so all i have to say is please make sure that you have to spend at least two to at least two hours in you know like you know sharpening your skill that is what i used to say and uh, and in case if because you know your you know your craft very well right because if you are good in java go ahead if you are good in python go ahead if you have good in encryption or decryption or if you have good in you know like so many tech stack are there because since many freshers are there i could not able to you know like elaborate it because some people might not be you know uh, no aware of that 
tech stack which i'm speaking about because i was i have to be very generic in this way so java means you can go ahead mobile application means you can go ahead and in case so many devops would be there cloud would be there and so many options are available in case if you want to perceive anything start learn start 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 you know start your learning since i think first year you can uh, take your time because that is the phase where we can you know we were in a dilemma whether are we in a correct path or are we doing any proper because academic is also important as i said like academy is the golden ticket where because most of the companies will always look up for G cgpa in especially in india because i don't i don't i don't ever you know like um, how can i say support that because skill is the most important thing but as per education system gpa will play a higher role so education is must so like uh, academic is must so clear your academic and then focus on your skill that will help you out and and one more thing like uh, i want to say if somebody forces you to do anything please don't you know blindly follow that take your time think about it because once you you know once you have been pushed to one like one corner there is no one would be there because you are the only thing you are going to be lead because since is almost 5.5 years uh, i can proudly say i am the first graduate i am the first graduate from my you know uh, family so i have because i am also because as i said my first company would be fss so i was been there for 3 years in fss so pressure would be there because learning is not as easy as, as easy as as you think because learning because um, the pressure which you took on your shoulder will for sure will take you to the places and the things will fall in your places at, at the right time so don't ever think that if you feel that if you drain that any time while learning because learning phase is the most thing where we can able to you know like change our concentration to some other else like you know um, learning is the only thing that will help you how to choose your career as well as that will make you to go for the discipline phases because once you are disciplined in your learning skill right it will help you out to you know go with your butterflies color so that will help you out in all the aspects so like i have started career like as i said 2016 i you know in fss then later everything is new for me because uh, as i told java ko java and some basic sql and then some jsp and server this is what i know because yeah, my profile only has that kind that text stack only so once i entered into the it industry i get to know the you know you know pulse of the it industry so because these are the basic thing that will help you to crack the interview but skills are the most important thing that you can you know work on it so as i said so choose your domain properly and choose the tech stack for that domain and don't go uh, there is no option like blindly you can choose any tech stack and you can work on it that won't work out for sure because uh, be, con be be conscious on your tech stack because if you don't have interest on anything that will not fall into the places at any cost at any time if you put more than you know like as much as you could on effort that will not work out so uh, try to focus on your tech stack or anything that you want to choose um, and then try to work on that skill and shine on that way and uh, whatever company you get in just make sure that you are growing your skills there in case if you find out that this is not the right place for me to grow my skill or you know sharpen my skills at any cost you can get get away from this because learning phase is the most important phase where we can the first 3 years i can say the first 3 to 4 years because since the, for me it's 5.5 so first 3 years would be the toughest learning phases for me because i've been to uh, the project which is called um, payment like i said say because everyone is familiar to uh, like dream 11 right so the dream 11 and iacc so you can go and check in case after the payment page you can see there is a tagline called powered by fss and powered by paypal so all the pay payment gateway and possible because i was very conscious about the domains i have told already so like i was thinking about what will help me you know like to make uh, like step ahead from the payment domain or possible so i was you know uh, i was gotten uh, mental from my you know and try to you know express yourself because if you have any hesitation in case in case of loan don't do any hesitation that will not help you out at any cost in case if you want to and choose the choose a mentor <laughs> correctly because that will also falls into the places at any time so uh, like i chose the you know proper tech stack wise then i chose 
like for payment for banking domain there are courses are there that i can tell you or later or later or as i can inform to anybody of else in like the like we have the moderator i can inform to them also in case if anybody would like to start their career in payment domain i will help you how to do what are the certification we need to do pcci this is the most important thing and two way authentication and i will list out few because as i knew you will not aware of it but uh, but i just mentioning it these are the cases that we have to do and iso standards for that pgn post transaction so i've been working on dream 18 uh, dream 11 uh, payment gateway and then paypal gateway and irctc gateway and then stock like nsc stocks we are working and then i'm right now working on standard charter bank so uh, like my profile was completely into the payment domain since i'm as i told that i'm a full stack java developer so right from scratch to the production so this is how my entire no career life has been you know grown over these years i think i i think i can wind up proud because i can given up as much as i could yeah yeah thank you so much anna i am sure yes. that your words will be helpful for all of us sure. and uh, there are a couple of questions so i think so it would be good if you answer those sure please uh, so shrutija have asked that what are the domains that are there in the software industry and which ones can be considered useful in the future i could say money <laughs> money will play a major role in everyone's place right so i could say banking and payment domain would be the right choice and also crypto and also bitcoin everything will be uh, you know like will have some relatable with money right that will never fade away from the it industry i think hope you get my point right because money will always play a major role in everyone especially digital india so everything would be on you know like payment so i could say not not because of i'm working in a banking domain because even my friends were working in so many domains right so i could easily relate like which this is the domain where i can easily relate the things which is happening around me because if i'm sending some man, sending money to my friend phone pay if you ask me means i could i could explain them in and out so that is where you know the interesting part would play a major role in uh, domain phases and can you come again with the question again because i told the banking is the domain which will work out and other domains right it is there pharmacy is there and support is there and some i could say crypto is there and then cloud in, in case of cloud we have to go for the devops also because for kubernetes and then uh, devops because devops also plays a major role but i could say that is not the right thing that you choose while while you start your career so like you know uh, that will have a kind of you know uh support kind of work i could say if you go for the devops because there will not you you don't have any you know like constraint there because if you study a particular of a layer of uh, i could say in a technical term i could say that is a end point so there is an end point in the kubernetes if you learn that end point that will be there for almost for next 10 to 15 years so you will be there in that devops session itself and then cloud also because in cloud i could say cloud is a vast subject so i can prefer a uh, payment domain and a cloud related any because i don't want them to choose the career with respect to you know like any pharmacy or then you know and i could also uh, suggest them to go for any automobile like renault is there ford is there and then four kites is there and four kite is a supply chain and logistic and i could also prefer them to choose logistic and supply chain profile that also help them how to explore more rather than being in a service based company i always prefer to choose the product yeah okay now thank you no yeah and uh, we have another question yeah, kirtana has has asked that uh, how to know whether we are in correct path and act accordingly mm, i could say if you have a good mentor <laughs> you will be there in a the right path and and be uh be conscious and think twice before you take any decision that is what i used to say and have a mentor I mean, don't hesitate to ask your question and don't hesitate to you know uh, think what others think about me if i ask this question no 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 even i did the same mistake you no know, i will not stand in any of the seminar i will not stand in any of the you know like any any even since i'm a topper i'm a gold medalist but the circle which i'm having right hope you can relate because i'm the only topper and one of one of my friends na so yeah so i can say um, the moment once you you know find the correct mentor because i knew people 
we were on, you were onboarded virtually right since it is a because of this pandemic we you people were onboarded virtually so i think it is a hard to choose a per person because since we had a physical connect with the mentors there so we could easily relate and we could easily get trained by easily uh, all i could say is uh, try to find a mentor or in case if you are comfortable with your seniors passed out seniors since you can have a connection in linkedin or else you, you can, so many profiles are there right so indeed is there and uh, insta hair is there and so many job portals would be there so i think i uh, for her i would say uh, try to connect with any of the seniors so she can comfortable with so try to build a conversation and don't hesitate to ask question what think what others think about me that is the most danger thing when you start your career uh, please free to ask any question i would say ask her to you know connect with any of the seniors because she will grasp some knowledge and that people might be helpful for the reference also even if she is you know well enough to answer or well enough to ask question means i can help out for the junior because i can like uh, most of my juniors were in touch with me in 2016 17 18 and passed out with me so in case of any opening so we have a whatsapp group or we have a, you know like <clears throat> a separate uh, chat history there so in case of any opening we used to post and we used to pull the you know juniors even last week also one of my one of our uh, alumni has been attended the uh, my collateral company which is called fss so i referred them and they have been there so i would ask her like proper mentor would be there i i think she can connect with any of the seniors whom have whom ever she feels comfortable with so that that will be the right thing because uh, yeah that is will be the right thing, yeah thank you ana so i thank hope you. that this pandemic ends so soon and uh, we could actually get into the uh, physical mode of classes and then we could actually get the proper mentor or a proper senior who would actually guide us and also now we have you by our side so yeah, thank so. you yeah thank you thank you so much ana yeah thank you thank so much. you now yeah thank you and next uh, i think so rahul ana is here with us and uh, he is the winner of the smart india hackathon 2020 and rahul anna please take over the stage um uh, give me two minutes i'll just join back there is some problem with my yeah yeah sure Okay. Am I audible? Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. Okay. Uh, hello. Good evening, all. So I'm actually uh, okay. I'm Rahul. I just recently passed out from the from our college, and uh, I'm actually currently working as a Salesforce developer in Persistent Systems. Basically, like I'll tell you, like practically, like what are the things that are going to come up uh, when you are like starting with your first year. just be more practical like uh, how my journey was like when i was uh, like uh, going for my first year so actually like uh, this is a very good uh, period of time where you can explore you can have fun and you can like talk to many people and yeah it's going to be one of the most memorable days uh, when you are looking in your future so actually during uh, during my first year the first thing uh, for my learning it's like uh, it started with the bridge code you can have okay uh, that is where i was entered into a domain even in the first days of like uh, where i came to know about mobile application development actually i was from a bio background so i was i don't even know like the programming or anything so so as per as per the usual academic se- uh, sessions like uh, i think uh, when you were in uh, first year you'll be coming with uh, you'll be going with a python okay so I was also going with a Python. I chose Python as a programming language where I just did some coding, and also there were many seniors who guided, like, uh, through like many uh, websites where I can learn, where I can practice, and things. So that is how it went. I I did not do any extra things. I was just going with the, with my academics, and then I came to know that like uh, in our college, like uh, there is no rule that we need to sit for the entire like academic session, like. <laughs> if you are uh, if you are like keeping up your academics properly then you can just uh, skip your classes and you can go and stay in ilp and then you can start learning of what you want like who else like like likes to stay in class huh? 
I try to like maintain my academics. Parallelly, I just uh, left from my class. Like I skipped my classes and I actually like went to ILP and I started my self learning there. And the days were yeah, the days were going by, and also like I was noticing like the seniors were participating in many competitions and they were doing a lot of stuff. Okay, so what I did, I, like, I gathered a team and we applied for a competition called Rajasthan Hackathon. Okay, so it was conducted by the Rajasthan government. We just applied it with an idea and we were selected and uh, they they arranged everything for us like uh, till the travel food and everything were completely free it was like a complete travel till Taj Mahal okay <laughs> so what we did like uh, we went with my uh, like I went with my team and uh, we were having fun really but uh, the moment when I reached the uh, stage okay I saw people are more serious and they were more like uh, conscious about their idea and they were pitching. So I was like, then I got to know, okay, we can also have fun. Parallelly, we should also learn. So that was a really great experience for me. From there, I started like uh, uh, taking this self-learning seriously. And then I, yeah, as I said, I chose Python as a programming language there. And then I started like web page development, like the normal HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Like you will also come across all these things. And uh, yeah, that is how it went during my first year journey. And in the second year, what happened is that like, uh, here you will be given a lot of exposure before more company projects. Like the, there is no criteria that you need to score good marks. Just the only one thing is you need to show interest. Okay, if you show interest, then the mentors or else the faculties, the staffs, training, uh, like uh, training members, like, they will like take you uh, in many projects. Similarly, I was also taken into a project where I did not have any idea like what to do. And uh, as there was a commitment, like uh, we need to complete the things. I too, like uh, there was a lot of sleepless night where I started learning. It was not due to pressure. It was due to interest. Okay. We should note that. So that is how like I started my company project. Like I started working on things in that way. And then I also like, uh, I also like started participating in competitions again. And then uh, I had some seniors, so like they also advised me. We went into an another project, uh, and uh, like we were the top 15 in the overall rank list. And we were, I was also given a chance to go to Mumbai this time. So similarly, I also went to Mumbai with my team, and and also like uh, yeah, that was again a great experience because we saw people from Google too. I was like, what is happening? <laughs> So it was it was really fun as well as learning there and uh yeah during my third year okay uh yeah before the third year okay as as the journey is coming by i was coming from i was uh learning python and in my second year in the academics we were learning java dbml and everything okay so parallelly i was also sitting in ilp and learning what okay i learned uh, mobile application development mainly with that stuff played for competitions and then I was roaming around the city. I mean, roaming around the states, like uh, without any expense. That actually, during my third year, what I did, I thought like to do something more than this competition, than this learning. So what I did, I applied for internships. And then I came to know that like I I got elected, I started working, and I started earning. Okay, from that moment to till now, I have I stopped asking money from my parents i started like managing my own expenses myself and uh yeah yeah that is where my third year was i started my internship still continue like oh okay internship stops so currently i'm working full time and uh yeah during my final year what happened like uh this pandemic was there so i thought okay so that's all like how the things are going to happen but it was not like that as we are in the computer science domain like an it domain no one can stop us okay everything were normal and the placements were like something like it was in a large amount and also like uh i too had a lot of juniors with me like uh there were two still in a meeting like amrit and Vignesh. they like instead insisted me to join for the competition called smart india hackathon i was i was actually not planning for that but they asked me to be there and we thought okay one time <laughs> one more time so we did that and we did really good and we got uh the like we were the winners for it and that was a really good experience and my placements came um and uh, like through this academics i was telling right like i was also focusing on my academics see 
in your academics itself you are coming across programming languages database operating system every other steps like algorithms and things so when i was facing my first interview okay all the things which i face which uh, all the technical questions which i faced is from my academics so it went really easy for me to crack it okay and practically if you are seeing i had also participated in competitions okay so it boosted up my profile and i easily got a job in my first interview itself so that is how it went and also i i told you right like the smart in a hackathon like the competition what what we think what what a competition is going to do for us right like it may give us some prize amount what else but what it that uh, done is that it made me uh, it give, gave me an eligibility to uh, to be an eligible person to attend an another interview for an another company like that is where i'm currently working on okay so yeah i did my interview there and also got selected it was an offline and uh, it was a really good experience so what i'm saying finally here is like just focus on your academics mainly so that will help you to crack the technical interview as well as you are coming across many programming languages in this way so okay also uh, don't like strain a lot okay because you are like coming across each and every day you will def you are definitely going to learn something whatever you are learning just apply something just apply practically just go for competitions even though if you don't have knowledge that is completely fine see in my first year i went with no idea i haven't done anything there the thing which i observed there is i observed the people what they are doing from there i got really good motivation and that is how i was i started working properly and also have commitments like uh, see someone is giving you a task which has to be completed within a time you will definitely do it but if you thought of doing it yourself you won't do it you will just skip for like day next day next day so have a commitment for all your tasks and learn what you like and then just go in the same way there is nothing complicated and there is nothing like you should be an expert for doing that see i too started with nothing but i think i'm in a good position right now i hope so okay i i feel i feel that so it's a really good time you can have a lot of fun even if you start learning you can like explore a lot of places in india because competitions are like uh, like all these smart india hackathon code gladiator and there are a lot more okay so once you become a finalist okay they will provide you the opportunity to come to the live area so you can even have fun there also also with learning and finally when you are uh, leaving the college you will be you will be like going with many offers like I, I can see like many of my friends are having several offers, so that is how it will be. Yeah, so that's it from my end. Yeah. Thank you so much, Anna. So I was actually could relate with you because even I am a biology student. I am from the biology background. Okay. So starting from nothing yeah. to the position you are now, it's really inspiring for me personally. So I think so it could be for okay. my friends yeah. too. So thank you so much, Anna. It was yeah. nice to hear from you. Thank you, Nani. Thanks. It was actually inspiring to hear from you. So, uh, next we are going to call upon Amrita now to take over the stage. Hi, guys. Am I audible? Yes. Yes, Anna. Yeah. Okay. Hi, guys. This is Amrit. Uh, currently doing my final year in computer engineering. And then to begin with, uh, uh, I think. Everything narrated is narrated by Rahul and Muthu Kumar. Uh, they are completely over uh, the self-learning journey. So that's how we have started our, uh, our self-learning journey, and then we are here now. Uh, one thing I want to say is uh, uh, just accept the tasks. When you learn something, you will be getting more tasks. Like uh, for example, I will share my one of my experience. Myself and Vignesh, we were working during our second year. We were working in Accenture. There, there will be a lot of tasks, upcoming tasks, and then uh, there will be complicated things going upon. What we simply do is, when they give us a task, uh, we will just say, yeah, of course we can do that. Uh, but, uh, it, but deep down, we will know, uh, we don't have any idea about that problem and then the task. But we will accept that task and then we will take the responsibility. And then we will uh, just work on that. We will learn through online platforms and then we will work around and then we will finally bring, bring up the solution. Uh, so this is the one advice I'd like to give for your guys. Uh, and then now Vignesh will continue with the content. Hi guys, um, am I audible? Yeah, yeah Vignesh. 
so hi guys so this is vignesh from fourth year uh, i mean final year cc department uh, so i think already the host gave me a good a brief introduction uh, uh, so uh, when it comes to self self learning and achieving things in life i've been through a lot of things in my four four years of life i'm still in fourth year but still i've been through a lot of things in four years of life i have attended several national hackathons one smart india hackathon uh, still i am still working in an international firm international internship uh, and at the end of uh, third year and fourth year mid uh, i started my own company so uh, i have a lot of things that that has been going through in my life so uh, all these things you can see all these seniors we will be all four talking about how we achieved and we share our experience but but i am here to give something different like i just don't want to talk and explain about my own experience i'll just i have tried to make this as a blueprint wherein all of you guys can just follow it and it is just a cut and clear path for you to just that is a process the four years is a process each year is a process to achieve the success success doesn't come in one day all of these plenty of placement awards and i mean placement offers and awards competition winning and all these things doesn't come in one day doesn't i mean you don't uh, learn something in one day and then you just go and win so it's not something like that so these four years are highly crucial and highly important part of your life which you can utilize and um, make more use of it so i'll just share my screen so the main motto that i want to put forward here is you don't have to search for jobs let the job search you so so that is what even rahul and mutukumar uh, bro was saying so they were at the end of their fourth year they weren't searching for any jobs in fact at, at the end of third year itself they they all got placed so that is the great thing so so that's because they didn't apply to any i mean they have applied of course but still they have cut through the competition and they, they have just achieved something so so that is how you don't have to search for job and let the job search so so this applies even if you want to join amazon google facebook any of the big top tier companies so your dream job so i just cut it down what you have to do so the first thing that you have to do in your first year you can dedicate your entire first year for exploring yourself like so most of the students from 12 to uh, college have come here without even knowing why you are taking this department like mechanical cs or so water depart- department you are belonging to uh, most of you doesn't know uh, what is the real reason behind you joining that department maybe your parents would have said or some education counselor or uh, would have said that this so and so course has more scope or something but did you find your interest what is your interest and what in which field you can survive and sustain so so that is all about the your first year so your in your first year what you can do is you can just go and participate in all the competitions you would like to do like you can just the, what even the single thing which interests you you can just go and participate in all of those and you can just find what is your interest so all your entire first year is for failing like you don't have to win any competition you just have to go and show up and uh, just try to see what is your interest F- failing gives you a lot of learning so that is very important so uh we won smart india hackathon myself amrit and uh, rahul na uh, won smart india hackathon last year that is 2020 20 but before that we all together have lost three three to four competitions so so that is the experience you gain when the more and more you fail you, you master that particular thing like you know what is the exact requirement how you you can decode the algorithm like how to win to know how to win you have to fail to know how to win so so that is one main thing so the first year dedicate yourself for completely exploring don't judge yourself don't feel stressed or something just explore that's it so first year just explore find your interest second year learn and showcase so once you have found your interest starting from second year what you can do is you have to start learning with lots of free resources available in online like you can just go to youtube youtube is the biggest source of free learning like you can almost type anything and you can, you can just learn anything like it's massive so 
just make use of youtube youtube is alone is enough for 70 to 80% of learning any particular field or any particular domain you can read books and uh, whatever you want to achieve that particular thing you can do that uh, so so second year is for learning and showcase so just alone lo- learning is alone is not in- enough so there comes an important step called showcase so even if you develop a small calculator application or, uh, or whatever if if you are belonging to mechanical department you are doing some small 3d printing keychain or something you just have to showcase your work like you shouldn't feel shy to just post your uh, work in social media like linkedin you can make use of linkedin and uh, so whichever department you are belonging there will be a particular platforms where the uh, your respective domain people will be active like uh, developers are active in twitter and uh, so on so like that uh, depending upon your domain you can just do that so this is very important step because it doesn't matter how bad you do or how uh, whether it's working or not but somebody at least the people will know that you are still trying i mean you are trying something from the second year of your college so that is very important don't feel shy just post learn something post something whatever you do you just showcase it to the outer world so make a portfolio portfolio is something but your resume or something like that make a small website you can just do go go and take a website template and you can just uh, put whatever pics of projects you have worked before so so that is the thing you have to do and learn and showcase is the second year space the third thing is the third year this is a very important year like this is the turning point for most of the people because almost most top companies and uh, uh, most of the placements happens in the end of the third year so this is a very important phase so at the start of third year what you can do is master and engage so what do i mean by master and engage is so you have found something of your own interest you have started learning it you have started you building your portfolio on something so what do i mean by mastering it so uh, mastering it simply means go apply for internships there is plenty of opportunities available for uh, internships for free under, i mean undergrad students and uh, almost any of them you can just go to internshala you can see plenty of companies posting for paid internship like you can just get stipend when you're just doing this so i got my first internship when i was in second year that too it was an international london based robotics company uh, so even i i got the same internship from internshala so that is very important so that is mastering your skill you have to you have learned something from your open source your youtube resource or something you just have to get into the real field like you just have to work in real projects how you can do that you can just go and do an internship and you can learn the real experience in the real world and what do i mean by engage so master is learning the skills and engage is engaging in uh, several com- so you have participated in several comp- competitions but you have failed so that doesn't matter now in third year when you do this when you take up any competition you should be confident enough to win that competition and just win that's it you should win at least one or two competitions in your portfolio and that is a huge plus point in your resume so it is just a plus point when compared to others uh, if you have win, won some competition and you have some uh, internships in your portfolio so that is master and engage. so i call this phase as master and engage see the final year what you can do is crack it that's it so you have gained experience you have gained knowledge you have uh, uh, won several competitions you have internship experience so what else do what do you think uh, what else do the company need you actually have experience and you have uh, the knowledge of showcasing or presenting something to everyone you have good communication skills so because if you go to competition of course if you're winning uh, it means that you have pitched your idea to someone else and you've actually won so you you are already a package so you don't have to search for jobs and in this phase the job will come for you i mean inbound this is called inbound offers or something so the company searches for you in linkedin so when they search for you in linkedin they just see how from they'll see okay this guy is been developing since second year so he has joined a company and he has got improvement in his company and he has got so and so he has one so and so so they understand that you this is a two year process you you have followed, followed a two year process and you have achieved something 
so that is what i call it as crack it so in this stage you will you will all uh, you will already been placed and uh, you have you would have achieved your dream job and uh, you would be uh, far apart from the other non involving people and uh, other general people so this is my take on solo learning i mean self learning so this is how you can go through things so uh, after this session we will just share you the resources for doing your free learning for almost any domain so just follow this uh, blueprint for your self learning journey i'll just post it in my linkedin or something so we can just have a look at it i think that's it for me say uh, thank you ana i think so this will be useful useful for us for every one of us actually because uh, you have uh, made us clear what we should do in each phase i mean each year of this four year journey so it would be helpful for us for sure and um, as you were a part of the smart india hackathon so it would be nice if we could hear the experience from you and also from amrit kanna uh so uh, so before smart india hackathon i have been to uh, six to seven national level events i was just a finalist and uh, i was final nominee for tamil nadu student innovator of the year award 2019 and uh, so all of it all of my experience was just going till the finish line and then i just couldn't pull it off so the smart india hackathon was my desire and our desire like we wanted to achieve something so that was our primary mindset so from the day one we just we got notified that they have posted the problem statements so from the day one we started the process we started the process of uh, seeing the problem statements finding which one to choose and which one is less competitive and which one we can provide the best solution and uh, so we started the process and all our members so the teammates were myself rahul and another vignesh and uh, amrit uh, so we we all i had the same goal to win so that was our only primary goal and uh, yeah so at the end of competition uh, even the judges said you were far off from the other teams you were very easy to judge uh, it was easy to give the first prize and yes we back the uh, one lakh prize and so yes yeah. i watch yes i will add one more thing yeah uh, the crucial part is the on spot hackathon because it was held online uh, last year uh, actually our competitors were from iit from north from north india with your so camera is turned off uh, okay yeah is it okay now yeah it's okay yeah, yeah okay uh, it was so crucial for us because our competitor has uh, given a more reliable solution actually they were building uh, e- even more complex systems than us but the thing is hackathon never want complex systems they need a perfect solution that is what we were delivering so uh, it, it was a three day hackathon from day 1 to day 3 we were just analyzing their requirement we were clearly uh, we don't want to want to make a complex system that's what the hackathon is so uh, we were seeing that many people were building uh, with a lot of features lot of things but the judges just want what the, the judges need uh, a solution which understand their requirement so that's how uh, they are at the end of the hackathon they have said uh, you guys have deserved the first prize because uh, even though your competitors were, were building a, such a complex system we were we are giving to you guys because uh, you have clearly understood our requirement so this is the process hackathon needs so yeah this is yeah, the so one. the point that he is trying to stress is we have the hackathon happens for a reason so they give out problem statement like you have to solve the problem actually you have to your first priority should be given to solve the problem like the, there were other teams they didn't focus on the problem itself but they took the problem as a category of i mean i mean suppose if it's agriculture related problem they just uh, took something related to agriculture and they just started providing features which were not useful at i mean it was not solving the problem uh, so suppose if you want uh, imagine if uh, ola and uber doesn't exist the main problem statement is that you have to connect the end user and the uh, 
you have to make an online platform which connects uh, customer and the driver so that is the main problem statement but what people give us rating which is and uh, some other unnecessary fees so they have focused on that feature and that feature would be working really well but actual process of connecting the customer and the driver would not exist so the main thing to uh, work on the i mean the general principle to work on hackathons is to focus on the problem itself for problem should be given the first priority when the problem is solved you can just work on other features like giving uh, ratings for the driver giving rating for the customer and all those things so this is the primary focus that you have to do when you are taking part in any competition just so whenever taking any kind of competition it's not just hackathons whenever taking any competition the first thing you have to do is you have to see the judgment criteria see what the judges want and you make sure that you match each criteria and you hit the each criterion and be communicative like express what you have made be ready to accept the suggestions that they give so that is very important like uh, okay they okay w- one more thing happened in our smart india hackathon finals so what happened is uh, we had competitors from nit college i think so what happened is the judges gave some suggestions but the they failed to consider that i mean they were like this is my product so this feature is not necessary i will just uh, do this and i will just win but that didn't happen like it was their necessity because they are the ones who have posted the problem statement so you are not of course you are not considering your their suggestion then they they won't like it so you have to be open minded you have to get suggestions from judges or anyone who is mentoring you and uh, you have to just see if that is really will, will that positively help your application or your uh, project to grow so that is what it is all about thank you anna for your interesting words and uh, i hope everyone would have uh, cleared their doubts about uh, hackathon so now we have a question uh, from sri raghavi suggest some uh, websites to solve coding challenges uh so i assume uh, you are from first year uh, if you want you can just solve coding problems at the first year start of the first year but i wouldn't recommend doing so because you have to learn something to solve something if you don't know anything there is no point i mean the first day you are going to go the problem will be very simple but you 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 don't know the syntax you are not going to solve the problem so you are just going to lose the motivation and you are just going to okay i don't coding i will never get into the coding and you will just leave the entire process so uh, you don't have to go to the coding problems at the very first year itself of course if you have some programming knowledge you can just go but i wouldn't recommend going to coding problems i mean in platforms uh, so yeah that is what my suggestion is uh, so and coming back to the question so the platforms to do is hacker earth hacker rank uh, code chef you can use these kind of website to just start your uh, problem solving skills but please learn something before doing something okay now and we have a question from daranya that how to involve ourselves in projects and how to do our projects effectively uh so so when you get an idea everyone has an idea so don't think whether it's already be there in the market or something start with the simple project i mean if you are starting now if you are first year student or second year student if you don't have any previous project experience or something start with something small because if you if you are going to try something big and if you are not able to achieve it you are going to lose the motivation and uh, you are eventually not going to do it so start with something small finish that and you will get the, your motivation and satisfaction that is yes, your able to do something and with that you can just start taking down bigger projects uh, and one more important thing while doing project is you just don't have to think about uh, i will just i mean you just should not keep on thinking well, i should start start sir one day you should just take your laptop and just start once you start it it, it is just like learning driving if you it's very difficult to uh, master the first gear and moving moving the bike but when you do that uh then everything is easy like you can just maintain the flow the flow is easy 
but starting is difficult but all you have to do is just that one day just open your laptop just start just don't keep thinking i have to start this day okay new year is coming i'll just start on january 1st okay no no not like that just whatever you want to do do it today thank you no i even i had the dilemma of uh, when i started to code uh, i feel like uh, i have more things to study like uh, max and science and i get that thought uh, when i started to code but now uh, i got clear yeah, that's good to hear and also as you said and all that uh, you were up to that finalist level but you could actually didn't uh, can't win the uh, competitions so here yashwant has uh, put up a question that how did you keep up the positive mind actually because every one of us will be going down when we actually fail in something or the other so how did you keep up the positive mind and you kept working um because we all knew we will win at one point of time because failure is a step of i mean failure is a process if you want success you have to fail failure is just a process you have to accept that uh, just keep going just you just have to keep yourself motivated and your goals should be straight uh, you don't have to think uh, what the others will think am, am i a failure or something like that uh, you define your success uh, you know what's your worth and uh, you just have to just go uh, don't i mean if someone says you are not good at coding then okay yeah really i'm bad at coding so i'm going to leave the field so so it's not like that so you do what you want to do so that's what it is all about so thank you anna and i think so the next question could be answered by rahul anna uh yeah so there is uh, rakesh have asked about the tips for interviews um tips for interviews um okay just uh, okay so in case if you are being uh, if you are attending the interview through online there is no problem for you because uh, most probably like uh, when you are attending an interview they will check your body language but uh, if you are attending through online they will be only able to see your face not legs correct so it will be an easy process and there are many rounds for an interview based upon any company profile so usual process are like a aptitude round uh, aptitude you can easily like study that i uh, there is no input for me like to say you can easily like check some youtube videos you can learn it like within a month or two you can easily crack that and the second round will be maybe group discussion round where uh, you need to speak they will say some general topics like is pandemic uh, affecting the uh, school or college learning or something like that like uh, is online education good or not so these are the kinds of topics that they may come up or with technology so the only thing which you need to do is you just need to speak you need uh, even if you don't know anything or if you don't have any point just show that you are interested to speak and just speak something uh, this is how you can clear the group uh, discussion round and the third round will be the coding round as i already told you like even in your academics you will be coming uh, in your first year you will be covering python and uh, in the second semester you will be coming across c language on the second year you will be going with the java programming so at this point like before entering the interview you i am sure that you will finalize with the programming language okay so choose that programming language and uh, i will suggest you to code at least one problem per day at least per uh, at least one program per two days you definitely need to do that it is like spending 15 minutes of time but the uh, award that you are going to get at the last is going to be like an amazing thing okay i'm, I'm really saying you but most people won't do that okay but if you do that you are going to get a really good future okay because people won't uh, see this is what happening okay you might be good at development developing a lot of things but uh, the interviewers won't see that at first the first thing they will judge you is through the problem solving skills they will check whether you are solving the problem or not if you are not then they won't listen to your development and everything only if you solve it they will ask you about okay what are the hackathons you attended what are the uh like uh what are the what are the projects that you have done these things will come only after the coding round okay so do coding every day like with or uh, with your favorite programming language which can be anything no one is going to judge with that and the third round will be the technical interview for cracking technical interview if you are focusing on your academics you are going to cover all the topics 
and that is where they are going to ask questions from you can easily cover that too uh, after technical interview it is going to be a general hr interview where you don't need to talk uh, technically they will ask you generally like like uh, are you comfortable if you if we are sending you abroad within an year or something like that like these will the questions like mostly like the general hr may ask like some general question you can can easily crack it so these are the interview rounds that you may easily that you may get but cracking this is not so hard if you are following the uh, like if you're following these points first thing is choose a programming language of your comfortable yes and start doing coding at least one program per two days or at least if you're doing a, each program per day it is going to be amazing for you okay and the third thing is focus on your academics mainly on the computer science related subject mainly on the core subject there are going to be a lot of subjects that you are going with even ai dbms operating system and there's a lot more okay i don't know <laughs> okay there is a lot more every interviews uh, like every technical questions are mostly going to come from this okay you can easily cover that and general interview is okay and also like interact with uh, most of the people okay so uh, you are being in your first year okay for, in our college most people are from andhra pradesh and all right they don't speak tamil just interact with them in english just communicate wherever you are feeling bored okay and you will be a good uh, you will uh, get a good communication skills so that you can see cracking interviews will be easy like if you are following these things yeah simple thank you anand okay now everyone of us will take these tips with them and it will be surely helpful for us and yeah, uh, sure. thank you anna and as amritana was part of this hackathon lokesh have a question here amritana yeah i can see that yeah so yeah. In, he asked all, in all the hackathon competition another problem solving competition is there necessity that this by this language you have to solve the problem Uh, Lokesh, the thing is that uh, generally in hackathon we will provide the solution and they will give us chance to take our own language. So if you are familiar with Python, you can do you can give the solution in Python, or else uh, any else lang any any other language which you are familiar with. And uh, in sometimes they will they will require for a language which is best suited for this problem. So you can either go with the language of your choice, or else you can easily take up another. Uh, another problem so problem programming language to solve that problem it is not necessary but uh, in problem solving competition uh, the first answer is for hackathon now i was there for problem solving competition uh, generally in problem solving uh, these companies will ask for uh, languages like c java uh, not python don't go with python uh, the languages they prefer is only c c++ and java uh be familiar in in any one of this language and then you can use this language to solve the problem that's it okay now thank you uh guys you can ask questions about uh, about uh, any uh, doubts you have and also we have a question from rak uh, rakesh that dsa versus software development which is important uh okay so basically uh if you have a good understanding like what exactly is this dsa dsa is actually the basic fundamental of doing things okay so if i am asking you a question okay uh you can provide me a solution with what you know but i don't need that i need a perfect solution dsa is like a fundamental thing using dsa you can do the software development that is the thing okay that is why i said like uh, do problem solving do uh, coding learn dsa and then uh, then only like people ask for development so dsa is a most of fundamental thing and if you are good in problem solving and if you are good in dsa you can easily aim for very big companies thank you anna and uh, we have a question for vignesh anna uh, as you said that you have a startup so they have asked there how to start our own company uh, sorry and i i think so you are muted vignesh sure, no, no, no. okay so 
starting up as different your question has different context i'm i'm not sure if you are asking about how to start a startup legally or whether uh, to how to find clients i don't know what what is your context about asking this question but uh, so if you want to start a company legally it's uh, you don't have to worry you just go to some ca lawyers and uh, you just give the documents which they ask and uh, they will just do the rest and uh, you just have to send the otp number <laughs> when they ask so that is that is how you start when uh, the legal structure happens that way and uh, uh, apart from that how do you start a company is like um, uh, when i was second year and uh, third year i started getting projects from uh, other company guys i mean uh, some people just wanted i reached out to me to do freelance jobs and uh, those kind of things so we we were doing this for a long time myself and amrit amrit was doing this for a long time and uh, then i finally decided that we can just scale it up and just make make it an even bigger scale and so i just start uh, we can just start so uh, if you want to start first thing focus on getting so if it is a service based company focus on getting clients uh, who who can genuinely who needs genuinely uh, a software to be built and actually ready to pay for that uh, so it's it's same for the any any field so if someone is really interested in something so there will be plenty of people just asking just information about how much will it cost or uh, something like that uh, but you can find the genuinely interested people with uh, proper motive to actually get the project done so you can just uh, work with them networking is very important uh, uh, who's going to give you projects and uh, what is the size of companies that are going to give you projects or very important thing you have to build network so that is what i showed in the second ppt so i mean what you have to do in your second year learn and showcase you have to showcase your work like you can you have to show that you are capable of doing something like if you are able to build a medium scale or large scale application you have to just showcase that you are able to do that so that people can trust so trust and they will be willing to give you projects so initially uh, it's very tough to get projects uh, when you are starting up or nobody will trust that this guy actually knows to do stuff and uh, will get the project done but you just, uh, so so that is the reason for showcasing you just have to make sound while well you learn so make sound in the sense like you have to just soloanga screen podringa abdinna soluanga but you don't have to worry about it like you just have to put your uh profile everywhere your projects everywhere and uh, and eventually everything will so it will start small you don't uh, you shouldn't think like the first day i will just get a project from facebook and then i will just uh, rocket launch and 1 million dollar profit so that, that is not going to happen like they will pay you very less or they will, they are not going to probably pay you like most of the time uh, they talk for one particular price and they don't end up giving that particular price uh, but still you shouldn't lose your motivation you just have to keep going that's it okay now thanks for this wonderful uh, information and uh, we have another question from santosh yes do freelancing helps us to improve our skills as a newbie yeah of course but uh, if you're going to uh, start with freelancing to learn uh you can earn a bit but uh, initially your reputation is going to go bad because you are not going to deliver the product in a good quality even if you are able, if you manage to do something what the client wants uh but still you know, there won't be a good quality in your product because you don't have experience you don't know what is a quality product so what is the difference between you will be still thinking that this is the market so this is what how other products are also there so you don't know the difference between the actual real market and the thing which you build so you can learn by doing freelancing like you can just start with very small projects but yes the answer to your question is yes you can just start freelancing as a newbie yeah uh, actually for uh, doing freelancing okay so basically uh, you will be creating a uh... uh your profile in many websites like uh, apps uh, like upwork and there are a lot of okay so when you are creating a new profile you won't have any ratings people people take uh people trust 
a freelancer based upon the ratings and the work and the reviews given by the clients. Basically, you need to have a lot of patience till you get a good project. And then once you get a really good ratings and feedback from the clients, then no one can stop you. Like uh, you will start to get many projects. You can make that as your full time work. You can start a company like even after that, it will be a really good thing. What I suggest is like uh, you have a lot of time now, like this is your first year, right? Like start learning, start doing things like take a uh, creative profile if you are really interested to do freelancing. Okay and uh take some projects do some simple like take some simple project like some ui related or ux related or some some simple like coding related and uh yeah build it up uh come till your final year also like go for a full-time work if possible and you will recognize that you are you are you are being recognized among uh in the i mean in the environment like uh, freelancing uh websites like then you can like step into that yeah, uh, I would just like to share one meme. Uh, can you see my screen? So th this is what happens when you're actually doing freelancing. <laughs> when you don't have, I mean, they know that you, you don't have any experience, but still they will ask for experience. So that is a loop which keep happening. Uh, so you, even this happens in some job where uh, they, they come for a fresher placement drive and they ask for experience. So in that time, yeah, so this is how I can relate things. So in, at that time, you can talk about your freelancing experience, your uh, internship experience. So this will give you handy uh, in, uh, at interviews. Thank you so much now for your words. And uh, so, yeah, I think so it's time to wrap up our session. Today's day was really a day of learning. Uh, you guys are really a great listener and I hope our seniors really enjoyed sharing their knowledge with us people. So wholeheartedly, we must thank our college management for letting us conduct the wonderful session. And once again, thanks to our wonderful seniors and enthusiastic onlookers uh, for attending and making this event even more graceful. Thank you now. Thank you so much again from my side. Uh, you guys were really great. And I, I am personally taking much things from this webinar session. So thank you so much all. And we had a really great time here.